I want to talk now about the Birch property. In April 2017, the Six Nations elected council issued a release informing the community that the province of Ontario has transferred the title of approximately 381 acres known as the Birchland to a corporation directed by the elected council. This corporation has no affiliation to the Six Nations Development Corporation. At this point in time, all costs associated with the transfer of the land have been incurred by the province of Ontario. The province has also agreed to incur all taxes on the property until it has been deemed reserve lands, at which time the land will become tax exempt. The province has also provided additional funding to tile the lands for proper drainage. All of the acreage will remain in trust with the corporation until it can be officially added to the Six Nations of the Grand River Territory in accordance with the federal government's addition to reserve policy. Recently, the elected council was forced to issue a notice to vacate to a community member who had begun farming the land without permission. On Tuesday, May 23rd, the elected council met with the Haudenosaunee Confederacy at the Six Nations Tourism Building to discuss the current use of the lands. Prior to the meeting, the elected council offered a spot to the Confederacy on the board of the corporation currently holding the lands in trust. To date, an official response has not been received from the Confederacy as to whether or not they will accept the seat, although I understand from news reports that they have rejected our invitation. We were unable to come to any resolution at our meeting with the Confederacy, so the Six Nations elected council will be proceeding with legal action against the community member, obtaining an injunction, laying charges for damages incurred and seeking legal costs. The elected council will also be engaging the community of Six Nations for input on the future use of the birch lands. The councillors will be reaching out in their respective districts, either by district meetings or door-to-door -door surveys, to determine what the community would like to see these lands used for. I want to be clear that this land was returned to Six Nations for the community, so it is important that we get your feedback and input on the usage of these lands.